Hey, what's up everyone? This is Joe. Welcome to another how-to origami tutorial. And in this video, we're going to learn how to make the origami fortune teller. Alright, so the origami fortune teller is probably one of the most well-known pieces of origami out there. Um, most of you probably know exactly what it is. Um, for those of you who don't, it's basically a device uh, that you'd use to um, tell someone their fortune. It's a, you know, kind of a toy gimmick thing, but it's a lot of fun. I used to use them in middle school. Um, you know, they're, they're a good time. So uh, I will teach this to you today, and at the end of the tutorial, so after we're done making it, I'll have a brief segment where I go over how you would use it or how you'd set it up. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You'll probably notice that there's a crease going down the paper diagonally. That's just because I had to resize it. Just pretend like it doesn't exist. Uh, anyway, the weird thing about this model is that I'm going to be folding it so that the white will be on the outside. And that's because we're gonna have to do um, some writing on it when we're finished, uh, as I explained previously. So the white side should be on the outside so that I can actually see what I'm writing instead of having this dark color be the outside. So I'm gonna be folding my, just so that you know, I'm gonna be folding my fortune teller so that the exterior will be white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half both ways to start. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. As I always say, take time to line up your creases or line up your edges before you fold. And once you do fold, I recommend using um, your fingernail or if you don't like using your fingernail, any hard object really will work to press down, not super hard, um, but hard enough that you get a solid crease. That'll just make everything look nice in the end. All right, so now I fold it in half both ways, and now we're going to fold in the diagonals. So we're gonna fold corner to corner, just like that, this way, and then we're gonna unfold, and then we're gonna fold in the last remaining diagonal. So corner to corner. Just like that. Okay, once you've done all that, we're gonna unfold and we're gonna have it so that our um, interior side is gonna be facing up. So again, for me, this is gonna be the inside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold each of the four corners into the center point and that's where all the lines cross. Okay, so go ahead and take each corner and fold it in to the center point. All right, so once you folded all the corners into the center point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing. So all four corners into the center point. All right, 
So once we've done that, we are essentially done. Um, now we're just gonna set it up. So we're gonna flip it over, all right? You can see we have these kind of four flaps going around, breaking this model up into quadrants. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna pinch on, one, on either side of one of the quadrants like this, and I might need to use a finger to help open this up so it kind of forms a pocket like that. Um, we're gonna wanna do that for all of them. All right, so just kind of open it up like that. See, so we have these two open. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right, you'll see we'll start to form a kind of, uh, we'll start to form a shape. Sometimes it helps to uh, keep your finger in there while you do another one. The basic idea is that we're just opening up these pockets. All right, you'll see these folds. Uh, let's see if I can get a better shot. These folds uh, running along here, along here, those become mountain folds. All right, so now we have this shape. What you want to do is get a finger in every single pocket. So I just these four fingers work fine. Just put them in like that. All right. And you'll see that we now have the completed origami fortune teller. Okay. So I'll just show again from the back what it went from. So it went from this flat piece to looking like this. Each of the four pockets opened up. And again, just put a finger in each one. And now you have the origami fortune teller. So now we've made a fortune teller, but how do we use it? So there's probably billions of ways out there. You can do it however you want, really. But um, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you the way that I remember it being. Uh, it may or may not be that accurate, but it works. So that's all that matters. Um, basically, you want the way I would do it is I would put a color for each of the four sides. So what would happen is, uh, for example, I'm going to make this side, this side, you might want to flatten it out again to make writing easier. I'm going to make this side labeled black. All right. And so each of these sides would also be labeled a color, but let's say someone chose black. You'd ask someone, which color do you choose of these four? Someone would choose black. Black has five letters in it, so you would go one, two, three, four, five. And inside here, each of these four faces would have a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and label the insides of these with their numbers. So you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So let's say, let's say again, someone chose the color black. So we went B L A C K. All right. Now there's these four numbers. I don't know how well you can see them, but we have an eight, a three, a seven, and a four. So then you'd ask which number and someone would say, uh, number three. And so you go, okay. And you go one, two, three. All right. Now we have numbers one, two, and six and five. So then you'd ask them again, which number? And then they'd say, for example, two. And at that point, you would open this up and you lift this flap right here for number two. And you would have a fortune written under the number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete it and I'll show you exactly what it should look like uh, using this method. All right, so now I'll walk through with the finished fortune teller. So. Now that we have everything set up, I'm just gonna give you an example of something you might do. You'd walk up to someone and say, um, choose a color, and then they would choose, for example, blue, and you go B-L-U-E, all right? And then you have the numbers three, four, seven, and eight, and someone, let's say, would choose seven. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And now they choose a number again, and let's say they choose the number five. So then you open it up, you lift the pocket for number five, and it says, today is a lucky day. I just wrote some random um, fortune sounding lines in here. 
So anyway, that's how to make the origami fortune teller the way I learned it. There's a billion ways out there and get creative, make your own. Let me know in the comment section uh, your ideas for how to make a better uh, origami fortune teller. Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you have any ideas for any future videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments as well. If you like this tutorial, please go ahead and uh, like the video. It shows me that I should make more content like this. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, and you can also follow me at any of my social media, which I will have linked in the description and uh, uh, shown below in the bottom corner. Anyway, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.